Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bonk. Bonk has confirmed a high B wave most recently, so dipped back into the um, support region, which is now defined between 45357 and 133107. So the way to see or the way to read the way to read the chart, in my opinion, is either to understand this sideways movement as a wave four, okay, um, which is substantial, it's quite out of shape. I mean, it does look like a wave four, don't get me wrong. It looks like a, a perfect flat structure there at the moment, like a running flat because the C wave so far uh, is above the A wave, but it could turn into an expanded flat if the C wave goes a little bit lower. And we can uphold the idea that this is a wave four as long as it's holding above the 50% retracement of the third wave, which is at four, five, three, five, seven. So th they are support levels. You've got them all here on the chart. I mean, I'm not going to read them out because they are um you know you've got like the five zeros and whatever but um yeah you'll see them as a channel member you also have access to our uh, charts as silver and gold members you can access the live charts by the way and bonk is one of them <clears throat> but um yeah that might still change i mean it is what, what do we say about these charts it's a it's a chart with a very short history limited chart history so the predictive qualities of elliott waves are naturally limited However, we can still use the method to track some structures to give us some insights as to where support levels are, especially the Fibonacci support, which is um, very much in line here with the structural support levels, the previous swing lows from February and January, which are about, yeah, ba sitting basically where that 1.236 extension level is located at 92536. Um, at the moment, we've seen here from the December high, a corrective move down in what would be an A wave, a rally which I never was happy with because we had this double bottom, remember? Um, so I consider that a B wave because it rallied only in three waves very clearly. And this move down could now be the C wave. If that's a WXY or ABC, not so important. Also, with this messy structure, not very easy to say. I mean... I'm, I'd be leaning actually towards a WXY and then we have an A, B, C and it might just need one more low. Maybe we can put that onto the chart here, but that is not so much predictive. It's more about, um, okay, what, you know, how do I see the sector as a whole? Because it looks like we might only see one more low maybe across the sector. But again, until we have a low in place, that's purely a potential and speculation. So if we see that maybe here as a WXY pattern, so like that, then the Y wave itself is like an ABC structure. So A wave down, B wave rally, C wave down. So then it's all about to understand, okay, could this C wave have, have bottomed already? And surely it could have. It's a similar situation on all these charts at the moment. Um, I mean, when we then put the C wave count on the chart, this would be an, a one, a two. Yeah, and then this looks like the three, four, and it might just, it might just need one more low. So, and then that allows us to add an initial resistance level to the chart, which is here. That's initial resistance, not so reliable, but that's the micro resistance. It's one, seven, four, seven, eight, one. A sustained and convincing break above that level would be a first indication a low is in. Then a break above that wave too high at 249240 would be a better, let's say, better um, confirmation. Yeah? And then one more low might send us to that 1.236 extension. That's sort of how I see it. If it's a WXY as well, then we might have bottomed already. But then I need to see a break above resistance. So without a first, again, 1-2 setup or something, it's impossible to say. But this is the support region where we would expect a reversal. Now, again, that could be a wave 4. Or a wave two. The wave two is a bit bullish. It's a bit too bullish. Um, so I'm rather leaning towards the white count, which suggests this is a wave four correction. Still allows for one more high, at least actually to 730239 um, from here. But we'll see if that materializes. First, we need some kind of a low. And I gave you some relevant parameters to watch. And then also the levels that will indicate that the low is actually already in. That's my update about Bonk. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.